it's autumn at my favorite little park in the foothills of the Cascade Mountains. Let's come along for the ride. I've been hiking around this park for a little while, thinking I might do, do a little autumn photography. I don't know if you can see it though, but for some reason there's a whole bunch of smoke here. <laughs> they must be doing some slash burning nearby. And it's, I don't think it's going to be worth the, uh, the time to set up shots. I mean, it's so smoky here. But while I'm here, I figured I'd take the opportunity and the time to to hit a few things. And who knows, maybe I'll find something along the trail. Some kind of close-up shot. But if you've seen my last video, I'm sure you, you will take the takeaway will be I was pretty frustrated. And I was pretty disappointed with how I was getting along with my camera gear. And I was out with my 4x5 camera I put a new friend's lens on the back of it, hoping it would make it brighter and make it easier to compose. And I was really disappointed that it didn't lighten up near as much as I was hoping. And it also brought to light that my eyes <laughs> were also part of the problem. Uh, reading glasses are a pain in the butt when you're trying to take them on and off. They're fogging up and all that stuff under the, the uh, dark cloth. So I was pretty frustrated. So I went ahead and put that video together. I was pretty tempted to just kick it to the trash. <laughs> because I, I did have a kind of a negative vibe. And I, something I want on this channel, this is, this is my journey. This is my failures and my successes. And if I was to not show everything, then it really wouldn't be telling you anything. I know there are a lot of photographers out there that are probably experiencing many of the same things I do. And so much photography is psychological and, and it's, you know, <laughs> it's, it's awful, often a mental battle. And so I've, I, I try to leave that stuff in, you know, when I'm having a rough time with something, I just, I just say I'm having a rough time. And I'm gonna say, oh, everything's great. <laughs> now, I ended up liking a couple of the shots on that video. And the last shot in the video, I'd, I'd never even shot video while I was making the photograph. I was so just upset and frustrated at that time. At that point, I just, I'm just going to make this shot. And it ended up being my favorite shot. And really, it was just using a 90 millimeter lens. It was about a one second exposure at f32. All pretty much like the rest of the photos. But I didn't give it its due. And it, it really was probably my favorite shot of the whole of the whole series. But I really wanted to thank all those folks that left messages, messaged me on Instagram, uh, emailed me, left comments under the video. I really want to thank you for for uh, reaching out and and expressing you know some of your experiences and uh, su suggestions and just give me some support and uh, it, it appears that I'm not the only one that, that uh, has these issues at times. So I really do appreciate that. And I really wanted to just say that, whether I make a video of photos today. Now, that may not happen, but I just really wanted to start with, thanks for all the, the kind words. <laughs> it really does help. I'm not going to get rid of the camera. I, uh, I'm going to try to work through some of the issues. I'm going to see if I can get a, a newer ground glass and see if that helps. And I'm just gonna deal with it, you know? That's just what you do. I, I knew 4x5 photography isn't gonna be easy. I've, this isn't the first time I've done it. It's just, for some reason, I, I seem to be struggling in this last few weeks more than I have in the past. The 4x5 ain't going anywhere, but, but while Autumn is kind of doing his thing, I'll probably be shooting a little bit more digital. I'm hoping to get out a few more times in the next week or two to uh, see if I can get some images. But right now, I'm thinking the smoke is kind of kind of a bummer you know it's not it's not really what I came here for 
I'd like to make an image since I did come out here and I uh, I'd like to make if I want to deal with the smoke if I don't want it to be a big issue I could probably shoot something more intimate and that's kind of what I'm looking for right now is just uh, some fall foliage around one of these nice big fir, fir trees a little bit of contrast between the bark and the, the leaves that'll probably be what I'm looking for so if I find something it'll be in this video a lot of compositions <laughs> and uh, I, I said I was gonna be shooting color but the ferns here stick growing up out of this rock here kind of, kind of piqued my interest and so I'm I'm doing a kind of a, a tight shot of the repeating ferns coming out of the moss in the rock this could actually be black and white it's gonna be one of those that I'll, I'll have to see when I get on the computer I'm using a 50 millimeter lens and I've got a polarizing filter on it to kind of knock off some of the shine. I might do a, a shot without the polarizer just to, sometimes in black and white I kind of like the shine. It gives it a little bit more spark, sparkle, a little more dynamics. So, but I think in color, I do think the, uh, the, the, the uh, shine on the leaves sometimes can be a distraction. It's kind of weird how that works. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of a fun shot there. Found a shot here. I'm, I'm shooting across this little ravine here where the creek runs through. And I'm kind of hitting some of that color and the trees coming up on the other side. Since we're up on the hill a little bit, I'm not having to shoot up too much to it. So it doesn't, uh, it's not too bad. Sometimes if you get down too low and you're shooting up, it makes everything lean back. But I don't think this will be too bad. I'm using an 85 millimeter with a polarizing filter. Kind of helps to cut through a little bit of the haze and uh, some of the shine on the leaves. Most likely this will be a color shot, but with me you never know. I I could turn this into black and white easily. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to return to this location. Uh, I think this is going to be in color, changing color for at least a couple weeks. So It doesn't look like it's peak here. I don't know if it will ever be like a peak moment because it looks like there's a lot changing, but there's a lot that hasn't even started changing, so it's kind of weird. This is... Uh, about about a second exposure around f 11 to f 16 kind of in there don't really since it's so far away you don't really need a i, I could probably shoot at f 11 just fine i've shot a couple at f 13. shooting these little pieces it's kind of fun that's this is kind of telephoto territory today I'm not it, this is one of the first spots i've seen actually seen and that's clear enough for you to actually pick out something to, to photograph. The composition I'm making right now is, is uh, very simple. But I'm really attracted to the different levels of decomposition, decomposing. We've got one leaf that's still really bright. And then there's the, the leaves that are, all, are around it are at different levels of decomposing. And I, I think that's kind of a, kind of a, almost a story, you know. And there's also a couple different kinds of leaves here in this picture too. It's all in this nice rock, so it's 
it, it, it should make a kind of a nice abstract, simple abstract uh, shot. Very, uh, very simple in color though. There's not a lot of color choices here. We're talking yellows, browns, okay, everything in the same, the same spectrum. Nothing really dramatic except for the bright yellow leaf that's the single bright yellow leaf that's that's in the frame and that's by choice just trying to use color uh, more dynamically not just mass color but use it where it's important time. I'm not sure what I've got for photos. Didn't really take a lot. I don't know if there's anything there that really knocked my socks off. Well, I enjoyed making the images. We'll uh, see what we got when we get them on the computer. So I'm going to be heading back to the car and hopefully I can get out a little bit more this uh, before the autumn season's over. It's just, just great to be out. Well, if you made it to the end of the video, I appreciate you coming along. Hopefully it wasn't a waste of time for you. So until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride.